What's going on? It's David Duford, El Jefe of Final Expense and Insurance Sales. Thanks for joining me on today's broadcast where I'm going to explain to you why selling insurance is so damn hard. And I'm going to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with you today, especially for those of you that are struggling in the insurance business or possibly thinking about joining and having some uh, doubts as whether this thing is right for you. Maybe I can help you put this thing to bed and jump on in and try to join us with uh, and have success in this business or uh, perhaps talk you out of it. Either way is cool with me because I like to shoot you the straight truth, so let's get right to it. So what makes this business so hard? You might have heard that somewhere 90%, 92%, 98%, whatever, somewhere over 90% of agents in their first year fail out of the business. Have you ever heard of a job where 9 out of 10 people quit? Well, that is the essence of selling insurance, no matter what kind of insurance you sell, not just life insurance, really anything. Why do people fail at such an incredible clip? Well, I think there's a couple of things uh, as to why this is the case. And I want to talk about uh, what they are and the things that you can do to get around them. If you can, you might not be able to. And if it's a problem, then don't do it. So the first reason I think that makes this business, and these are no particular order, just stuff that just randomly comes to my mind. First big thing is that unlike jobs where you have wage, you know what you're going to get paid, that ain't the case for most of us in the insurance business. It's straight 100% commission. That means you eat what you kill, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody's responsible for paying you a dime if you don't produce. And most of y'all out there have been earning a wage and don't have to worry about if the work you do actually provides value. And that's the difference of selling insurance. You're in a straight commission environment. It's entirely up to you to earn the money that you want to earn. And you won't be paid if you don't deliver. And that reality brings a host of problems, a host of emotional stress that many people cannot manage. The idea that you'll wake up tomorrow and never make another sale is very real. How are you going to make your mortgage payments? How are you going to take care of your kids, send them to the schools you want to, or go on vacations if you're not making sales? And a lot of people will experience failure short-term and permanent too. And it, they start to lose that fire in the belly, if you will, that enthusiasm uh, of the business because they have to face these realities. So how do you overcome this issue? Well, I don't think you can overcome it. I think you have to have the right mindset from the beginning. That straight commission is something you should embrace out the gate. Owning the fact that it's all up to you is a good thing. And for those of you who are high-achieving producers or, or have that mentality, this should super excite you. When you got to go out there and you know that if you apply yourself to the maximum, that you can make a tremendous uh, income. This should motivate you even when times get tough. Of course, we all get a little discouraged when things don't go right. That's normal. But the idea of being on a straight comp should motivate you. Now, it used to be back in my early days, I'd say, ah, you know, join an insurance agency that pays you a salary or a retainer or a draw or something like that. Nah. Don't do that because you're going to lose so much money that you otherwise would have had if you had been on a straight comp level. So I just think, look, if you can't swallow the fact that it is up to you entirely to make a living and you are paid on performance, do not do this job because this is a big reason why people quit. They don't know what to expect for their income. Quite frankly, most people suck at saving money. They're not prepared they're under too much financial stress. They're, they're spread too thin on too much crap that they're paying on that going on a straight comp is going to be just far too emotional. I think that's why a lot of people in, in my business with recruiting, I don't necessarily do this, target young people because they don't have families and financial burdens and they can live lean because that's kind of what's required in those early years. So uh, there you have it, number one. Number two, cannot fully control outcome. 
again, this is kind of the paradox of insurance is this. The successful insurance agent will be yelled at, screamed at, tell to go to hell. No, I'm not buying. I need to pray about it. Talk to my pet rock, whatever. Three out of four times. So the crazy thing is, is that the one out of four that actually buys from you is what drives your success. And if that's all you can get with many types of marketing models, you will be incredibly successful, like six-figure income successful. But most of the time, we're going to have people tell you no. That's crazy. Do you understand psychologically what it's like to hear no all the time? If you've never sold anything, you won't understand it. And it takes some getting used to. Because at first you're thinking, well, they think I suck. They don't like me. They think my product stinks. Or they think I stink. Well, it's not personal. People have their issues, and not everybody's a lead or a buyer. And you got to go on to the next one. There's an essence of, of activity and a numbers game that comes to insurance sales. And again, hearing people reject you, it seems that way. It's not really. They're rejecting your offer, which is different than getting you rejected is demoralizing and that coupled together with you know you're not making any money running out working prospects it can cause stress at home cause stress on the financials and just be an overall issue and so the thing is in this business how do you handle this well I, there is hope here and it's developing a, me a mentality towards controlling the process as opposed to controlling the outcome I learned this from a guy I interviewed. His name is Nick Frumpkin. You can uh, YouTube search him if you'd like. Great interview. He also runs the insurance panel, another YouTube channel. Um, I learned this concept from him, and, and it's that you, what you can only control is the inputs. You can't control the outputs, which is your sales results. But you can control the number of people you talk to, the number of presentations that you get on a daily basis. You can control your activity. And so the only way that you can... <clears throat> get a predictable outcome is through a predictable control of the inputs. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to know individually down to each presentation what you're going to get out of the sale. You won't. There is a sense of randomness to it, even if you perform an, an, a perfectly executed sales presentation. So the solution instead is that you control your activity and the inputs. And having a mindset around being obsessed with the inputs, obsessed with the process, is a way that you actually can control and, and manage the outcome, the results, the income. Number three, probably the biggest reason why people fail out of this business and why this business is so hard because everything is ultimately your responsibility. The buck passes, doesn't pass you. It stops with you. You are responsible for your outcomes in your life. You're responsible for the inputs that you put in. And if you can't manage that, then you're going to have to go back and get a job and work for somebody else and make them rich because there's no other alternatives. There's no other solutions. You're in a position where now you own it. You own your successes and you own your failures. And what you do with either is your decision. The insurance business, in the insurance business, people fail because they don't own it. They blame things like leads or commissions or their upline or whatever. And they become a victim and they lose power to change their circumstances and take charge. Don't do that. This is what every employee, well, not every employee, a lot of employees do. And that's why they get stuck in their jobs and never advance. The insurance business requires ownership of your circumstances. And once you own them and embrace them, then you will see progress. And then you will see the ability to move on beyond yourself, and start to experience success. So own your problems. You're not going to be, uh, you're not going to avoid shortcomings and issues and challenges and frustrations. But you have to own them and understand what are these lessons of frustration, challenges, and issues trying to teach me? And what can I gain from this to improve? That's the mindset they have. Last but not least, you have to embrace the suck. Okay, this business or it comes with its host of opportunities as well with, as well as with its host of problems. There are no perfect business models in any industry. Every business model has a collection of good and bad. 
And you must accept both for success, not one or the other. Hope you wouldn't just accept the bad. I'd want the good if I would accept the bad. And that is no different from in selling insurance. A lot of people realize, because they're brought into this business selling blue sky, getting drunk on the Kool-Aid, that people don't want to buy your stuff. In fact, they think insurance salespeople are bad people. And they don't want to talk to you. And they insult you. And blah, 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 blah. So this is the kind of stuff that you're going to experience. And you must embrace it. Why? Because that suck is sucking people out of the business right now. It is thinning the herd. It is what's taking your competition out. And if you have the mindset of thanking the Lord for the suck, for taking the competition out and keeping you in because you are the fittest in the jungle of insurance sales, you're going to appreciate this natural process of the survival of the fittest. Otherwise, if everybody got in this industry and everybody was successful, guess what? We'd all be making bag uh, f filling wages at Publix or Walmart, making six bucks an hour, being a Walmart greeter. So the difficulty in this business never will go away. It gets more manageable, but that's the rub. The secret to success in this business and overcoming the difficulty is accepting the realities of it and learning to overcome not just the issues in this business, but yourself. Mastery of self is how you have mastery in insurance sales. Learning to control your emotions, control your frustrations, not let the worser half of you talk you out of this business. Oh, there's some other silver bullet over the hill, some other, you know, grassy knoll. Grass is always greener, right? All that stuff. You got to embrace everything, take responsibility, and go all in. It ain't going to get any easier. It gets a well, it gets simpler, it gets more manageable. But this is what makes this business very, very lucrative for those of you who stick around. Just remember that the guys who stick around just survive. And that's what you have to do too. My name is David Duford at davidduford.com. Join me. Go to my website. Learn how I recruit and train agents to become top producers and final expense annuities and Medicare Advantage. And if I can help you with anything at ever at all, leave comments below. Subscribe, like, share. And I'll personally comment if you leave me a comment. Y'all take care. Peace.